Good day, students! For today's video, our topic will be all about inverse function. Let us define first inverse function. It is a function that reverses or undo the original function. If f represents a function with an element of x to y, then its inverse function is denoted by f inverse with an element of y back to x. The notation for inverse function is read as f inverse of x. You have to remember that it does not mean 1 over f of x. Here is a real-life example of an inverse function. Let us imagine that you are the person looking at the mirror. So if you are going to represent that, you will be the original function. So while looking at the mirror, what image do you see in the mirror? Of course, it will be your reflection. And your reflection will represent as the inverse function. Because if you did not see your reflection in the mirror, that will not represent as the inverse function. Now that you already know what is inverse function, we can now proceed discussing one-to-one -one function. But before that, it is better for you to study the lesson about function. It is because it will help you understand what is one-to-one -one function. The video of the lesson about function is on the description below. Let's start discussing one-to-one -one function. One-to-one -one function can be determined if the x value corresponds to only one y value and vice versa. Using the different representations of a function such as mapping, set, equation, and graph. For you to be able to determine if the given is a one-to-one -one function or not, the first thing that you need to do is to check if it is a function. And if it is a function, you cannot determine if the given is a one-to-one -one function or not. Because if it is not a function, it means that it is already not one-to-one -one function. Let's start. Which of the following is one-to-one -one function? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think of your answer. Let's check if your answers are correct. For number 1, since it is a function, we can now determine if it is one-to-one -one function or not. Since the domain corresponds to only one range, it means that this is one-to-one -one function. For number 2, it is also a function. Now, let's check if it is also one-to-one -one function. As you can see, the element 2 from the range corresponds to two elements m and t from the domain. It means that it is not one-to-one -one function. Since there are two elements from the domain that corresponds to one element from the range, it is also known as many-to-one function. Last number 3, as you can see, the element m from the domain has no pair. It means that it is not function. If it is not function, it means that it is also not one-to-one -one function. Next is, we are going to determine whether the following set of ordered pairs are one-to-one -one function. You just have to remember that if the x value is paired with exactly one element in the y value, it means that it is one-to-one -one function. I am going to give you 10 seconds to think of your answer. For number 1, the set of ordered pairs is a function, and each x value is paired with exactly element in the y value, it means that it is one-to-one -one function. For number 2, it is also a function. However, it is not one-to-one -one function because 2 has two x values. For number 3, the relation is not a function. It is because each y value has no exactly one x value. It also means that it is not one-to-one -one function. Last is the equation and its graph. These are the graphs of the given equations. Remember that for you to be able to determine if the graph is a function or not, you will be using vertical line test. As you can see, these are all functions. So all you need to do 
is to determine if the graph is a one-to-one -one function or not. For you to do that, you will be using horizontal line test. If the line intersected with only one point, then the graph is one-to-one -one function. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think of your answer. Let's check if your answers are correct. For number 1 and number 3, these are one-to-one -one functions. It is because using horizontal line test, the line intersects at exactly one point. For number 2 and number 4, these are not one-to-one -one function because using horizontal line test, the line intersects at more than one point. Now that you already know how to determine whether the following relations are one-to-one -one function or not, we are now going to proceed discussing finding the inverse of one-to-one -one function. In these two illustrations, each student has their own respective student numbers. The domain represents the name of the students while range is their student number. For illustration A, it represents as the original function. It is denoted as f of x or y. Illustration B represents as the inverse function of illustration A. It is denoted as f inverse of x or y inverse. So you have to remember that you can only find the inverse of the original function if it is one-to-one -one function. To find the inverse of one-to-one -one function, there are only four steps that you need to do. First, you're going to replace f of x with y. Second, you're going to trade or switch x and y places. Third step, you're now going to solve for y. And last is to replace y with f inverse of x.